When you hear the word swarm, what comes to mind? Perhaps a bunch of insects buzzing around, or a flock of birds crisscrossing the sky. But did you know there's a lot more to these seemingly random movements than meets the eye? Swarm intelligence is a fascinating field of study that delves into the collective behavior of decentralized, self-organized systems. These systems could be natural, like a colony of ants, or artificial, like a group of autonomous robots. The idea is that even though each individual in the swarm operates independently, together, they exhibit complex behaviors and can solve problems that a single individual cannot. The concept of swarm intelligence has been around for a while, evolving over time from observations of natural phenomena. Early civilizations marveled at the synchronized movement of flocks of birds and schools of fish, and modern scientists have since developed mathematical models to understand these intricate patterns of behavior. At its core, swarm intelligence is characterized by three key principles. First, there's decentralization. No single individual controls the swarm. Each individual operates independently, making decisions based on its local environment. Second, there's self-organization. The swarm doesn't need an external entity to manage it. Instead, it organizes itself based on simple rules of interaction. And third, there's robustness. The swarm can adapt to changes in the environment or loss of individuals without losing its functionality. Swarm intelligence is deeply rooted in biological systems, from ants finding the shortest path to a food source, to birds flying together to evade predators, these natural swarms have inspired a plethora of algorithms and models in artificial intelligence and robotics. So, next time you see a swarm of birds or insects, remember, it's not chaos. It's a fascinating display of collective intelligence. Let's take a closer look at how swarm intelligence manifests in nature. From ant colonies to bird flocking and fish schooling, the natural world is full of examples. It's fascinating to observe how these creatures, each with limited individual capabilities, can exhibit complex behaviors when acting collectively. Consider an ant colony. Each ant follows a relatively simple set of rules, like following a pheromone trail to food or carrying food back to the nest. But when you step back and observe the colony as a whole, you see a complex, intelligent system capable of finding the shortest path to food, optimizing resource allocation, and even adapting to changes in the environment. This is swarm intelligence in action. Birds, on the other hand, flock together for protection against predators. They follow three basic rules, alignment, separation, and cohesion. These rules ensure that each bird aligns its direction with its neighbors, avoids collisions, and stays close to the flock. The result is a mesmerizing aerial ballet, a testament to the power of collective behavior. Fish schools operate on similar principles. They move in unison, changing direction swiftly and seamlessly. This collective behavior confuses predators and increases the chances of individual survival. All these examples illustrate the evolutionary advantages of swarm behavior, enhanced survival, resource optimization, and adaptability. To understand these natural phenomena, scientists have developed theoretical models of swarm behavior. Mathematical models use equations to describe the interactions among individual members of the swarm. On the other hand, agent-based models simulate the behavior of each individual, or agent, and observe the resulting collective behavior. Both approaches help us understand the underlying mechanisms of swarm intelligence. Clearly, nature is a masterclass in efficient, intelligent behavior. Now let's see how we can take inspiration from it. To fully grasp swarm intelligence, we need to understand a few key concepts. Self-organization, emergent properties, stigmagy, and feedback mechanisms. First off, self-organization. This refers to the process where a structure or pattern appears in a system without a central authority or external element imposing it. In a swarm, it's the way that individual creatures, following simple local rules, arrange themselves into a greater, more complex whole. Think about a school of fish, where each individual fish only needs to follow its nearest neighbors, yet the entire school moves as one. Next, we have emergent properties. These are properties that emerge from the collective behaviors of simple individual units and are not properties of any single unit. A single ant, for instance, doesn't demonstrate complex behavior, but a colony of ants can solve complex problems. That's an emergent property. The third concept, stigmoji, is a mechanism of indirect coordination. 
It's how the individual components of a system communicate with one another by modifying their environment. Ants, for example, leave a pheromone trail on their way back to the colony if they find food. This trail then guides other ants to the food source. That's stigma G in action. Lastly, let's talk about feedback mechanisms. They are essential for the dynamic regulation of a system. In the context of swarm intelligence, positive feedback reinforces a successful behavior, while negative feedback inhibits less successful ones. Consider an ant colony again. The more ants follow a strong pheromone trail, positive feedback, the less they explore other paths, negative feedback, ensuring the most efficient path to food is followed. These concepts form the backbone of swarm intelligence, and they've inspired some powerful algorithms. From robotics to network design, swarm intelligence has found its way into many areas of our lives. As we delve into the applications of swarm intelligence, we see its footprints in various sectors. Let's start with robotics. Swarm intelligence has been vital in developing autonomous agents or robots that can operate independently. Inspired by the collective behaviors of insects and birds, scientists have created robot swarms that can work together to perform tasks. Whether it's cleaning up an oil spill or exploring the surface of Mars, these tiny robots can tackle big challenges, embodying the essence of swarm intelligence. Moving on to optimization problems, swarm intelligence has proven to be a game changer. It's used to find the best possible solution among an array of choices, even when the number of options runs into millions or billions. For instance, the ant colony optimization algorithm inspired by the pathfinding behaviors of ants has been used to solve complex routing problems, like finding the shortest route for a delivery truck. In the realm of network design and management, Swarm Intelligence has shown promise in improving efficiency and reliability. Using principles of self-organization and stigmagy, networks can be designed to self-optimize, adjusting to changes in traffic or even repairing themselves when parts fail. Lastly, let's touch upon collective decision-making. Swarm Intelligence offers insights into how groups can make decisions collectively, drawing from the wisdom of the crowd. This concept has implications far beyond nature, influencing areas like crowdsourced innovation, market prediction, and even political decision-making. These examples are just a glimpse of how Swarm Intelligence is being applied. The principles that govern the behavior of ants, birds, and fish are now helping us solve some of the most complex problems in science, engineering, and business. Swarm intelligence is not just a fascinating natural phenomenon, it's a powerful tool we can harness to solve complex problems. And as we continue to explore and understand it, the possibilities for its applications are boundless. While swarm intelligence holds immense potential, it's not without its challenges. One of the significant hurdles in swarm intelligence research is scalability. As the size of a swarm increases, the complexity of interactions and computations also escalates. This can lead to inefficiencies or even system failures if not properly managed. Researchers are continually seeking new strategies to address this issue, focusing on developing algorithms that can handle larger swarms without sacrificing performance. Equally important is the challenge of robustness. Robust systems can withstand disturbances without significant loss of performance. However, in swarm intelligence, a single malfunctioning unit can have a ripple effect, disrupting the overall behavior of the swarm. Again, the solution lies in developing more resilient algorithms and system designs that can compensate for such disruptions. Ethical considerations also pose a challenge. As we continue to develop and deploy swarm-based systems, we need to ensure that they are used responsibly. This means considering potential misuse, privacy concerns, and the impact on natural ecosystems. It's a complex issue that requires ongoing dialogue between scientists, policymakers, and the public. Despite these challenges, the future of swarm intelligence is incredibly exciting. There are numerous potential breakthroughs on the horizon. For instance, swarm intelligence could revolutionize the field of robotics, leading to the development of more sophisticated autonomous systems. Imagine swarms of drones working together to perform complex tasks, from search and rescue missions to infrastructure maintenance. Furthermore, swarm intelligence has the potential to transform the way we solve optimization problems. By mimicking the collective behaviors of natural swarms, we could develop algorithms that can find optimal solutions more efficiently and effectively than ever before. Finally, swarm intelligence could lead to new insights into biological systems. 
by studying swarm behavior, we could gain a better understanding of everything from the migration patterns of birds to the organization of cells in our bodies. Despite its challenges, the future of swarm intelligence is bright, with endless possibilities for innovation and discovery.